ready to step aside. The new girl in town has my guy on the string. The new girl in town. Hey, look, she's wearing the ring. I can't stop crying, and so in my own tears I'm gonna drown. Cause he wants to rendezvous with the new girl. We kind of sad and blue. Yes, it's true, girl. We'd like to say to the new girl. by name is Tia Joy. Welcome, welcome. And to everyone who has been following me and seeing these videos, really, I appreciate you so, so much. It really gives me that push and that drive to keep going because I know that you are looking forward to these dance room reviews every Tuesday and Thursday. So what's up, fam? I'm so happy to see you. We're about to get into today's dance review, and that is what makes a man reach out and touch ultra clutch <laughs> and you wonder what that is you already see it's hairspray and i'm super excited to talk about this dance movie because i love this movie now before i can get into this dance review for those who have been okay let me be real if you've been watching these dance reviews this whole time and you have not subscribed honey subscribe to this channel okay and if those who are seeing the intro you like yo that was nice she did her thing i gotta subscribe to her because i know she got more go ahead and do that as well and watch the old ones as well because i have a lot of dance reviews about 40 that i've already done and i definitely want you to be caught up and see all of them and also hit that bell so that way instantly you can be in the now oh when i upload a new video <laughs> So Hairspray came out in 2007 and I know that there is an original one and that was in the original Hairspray which was in 1988 I believe. Yeah so there was another Hairspray that came out in 1988 and I have seen it and it was okay. And I know some will decide, okay, I like the old one better than the new, and some will say they like the new better than the old. But to be really honest, I really like this new one because I feel like it was just more fun. There's like more dancing, and it was just, I just love it. And so I thought the old one, it was okay. It wasn't really my, my favorite hairspray but I really really love this 2017 not 17 this 2007 hairspray because it was just it just attracted me more in I feel like the first one it was very like it was okay <laughs> now this movie is about a girl named Tracy Turnblad and she is played by Nikki Blonsky and this was like her first appearance type movie and she did an amazing job she did a really really great job but Tracy she has this dream of being on the Courtney Collins he is played by James Marsden and I love James Marsden I'm so glad he was in here and I also love him in Enchanted because he was hilarious <laughs> singing I've been dreaming of a true love's kiss he, like he is so hilarious and for him to be in this one I thought he did an amazing job too it's just so good to see him in this one but anyway so Courtney Collins, he has um, a TV show and it's really f towards teens and Tracy, she has this dream to be on the Courtney Collins show. She watches it every every time after school and she always learned the dance and do the dances with her best friend Penny. 
Pingleton, who's played by Amanda Bynes, and she, with that lollipop in her, her mouth, like, it just made me want a lollipop every time she had it because it's like, girl. And I don't know if that was the same one or did she ever bite down on it because it never got smaller. She just always had a lollipop. And even when she's dancing, she got one in her hand. So she did such a great job, but both of them are friends. They always watch the Courtney Collins show after school, and Tracy always looks forward to watching it, and she gets to see her man crush, who is Link Larson. And he is played by Zac Efron. And yo, okay, so number one, I can't tell you how many times I went to go see this movie in theater. I really can't because I love this movie. And number two, Zac Efron looked really good in here. I'm like, Ugh! like I know he was in High School Musical, but in this one, I was like, okay, Zac, yes, hun yes, honey, Zac, yes, boo. It's so, like he okay like the, the the bright blue eyes like yes like he did his thing in this movie so i really 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 liked him in here but he is also on the corner collins show part of the the cast and so she definitely want to be on this and also who's on the corner collins show who's part of the the dancers as well is <laughs> Amber Von Tussle and she's played by Brittany Snow and she did awesome in this one as well and her mother who is Velma Von Tussle and she's played by Mikhail Pfeiffer and I she did such a great job she was really like team Amber all the way and you know that's just what a mother is with her kids like I want my child to be seen all the time and you know uh, Amber, she always want to be in the front of the screen, always want to be on the, the camera, and always want to be shown, and it's like, bruh, like, there's got to be other people that you can show, but she really wanted to be famous, she thinks she's like the hottest thing since Fresh Bread, but it's like, nah, you're not, honey, <laughs> but she did an amazing job playing the girl who's just always, always want attention. We also have... Um, seaweed so she run into so Tracy when she goes to detention she run into seaweed who's played by Elijah Kelly and I loved Elijah Kelly in this movie he did such an amazing job because in they're also not only represent they're really representing the race so you have seaweed and his crew representing the blacks and then you have Tracy turn black and white and on this show it's it's segregated and their goal is to make it more integrated because they have Negro Day have it on Tuesday once a month so it's like come on bro like you get out a little bit more but around this time in the 60s it's very segregated and so see we has a little sister called Lina Inez played by Taylor Parks and she's just so cute and on top of that she's just adorable how she just really really wants to be on the show too and they're really pushing that forward to have more blacks on the show. And Motor, Motor Mouth Maybell, played by Queen Latifah herself. Yes, Queen. She did such a phenomenal job. It was so good to see her. And I love how she went blonde. She did an amazing job being blonde. And she just played her role. And I just love the fact that she was in here and seeing I know where I've been. Like, yes, honey. And then we have Tracy's parents. We have... Mrs. Turnblad, who is Edna, played by John Travolta. I don't know about you, but there was a really good cast. There was an amazing cast for this movie. And John, at first it was like, bro, <laughs> like, okay, John. <laughs> but he did job play Edna. He really played his role. This bigger woman who's afraid to go outside. She's literally pretty much what we can say right now. She's quarantined. But it was by her choice. Not the choice of the state. She just quarantined herself. And she has her own little laundry mat that she's running inside of her house. Because she's afraid to step out because of her weight. And the same thing with Tracy. Tracy she's really afraid, you know, to really... She loves herself, but she's just afraid that people are not going to accept her because of her weight. And, you know, later on she figures out it doesn't even matter. And then we have Wilbur, who's played by Christopher Walken. And this guy... <laughs> is Tracy's dad and he's he's a little weird but you know he has a love for his his family in a way so it's like he loves his toy store <laughs> hardy hard hut and he loves making people laugh with the funny bone through toys so go ahead and be a kid sir and then we have mr pinky who runs mr pinky hideaway played by jerry stiller so that was cool to see him he's from St seinfeld so to see him in here playing his role of uh mr pinky he it was cool to see him in this as well and then we have penny's mom who is 
but Miss Prudy Pingleton played by Allison Janney and this girl is just straight up Christian like she doesn't like watching TV not even the Cordy Collins shows like she just she just straight up the gospel <laughs> and I just love her in here she she's just so hilarious but like I said, there's an amazing cast and this movie was directed by Adam Shankman. So amazing job. He did a great job on this movie. So I'm about to get into some of my favorite scenes. So here we go. So my first favorite scene that I love about this movie is Nicest Kid in Town. And I love this because for the Courtney Collins, the kids are dancing and I just really love the routine. It's just so 60s. It's just so cool to see the do stuff like the mashed potatoes and like the pony and the twist and i remember when i watched this i was trying to learn it and i made sure y'all i got the shake and shimmy edition because i was not playing like i want to know this choreography and so when i you know when i saw this movie i was like i gotta get every, the the highest paid the, the most expensive dvd of hairspray because i wanted to make sure that i get these moves down back okay and so to see them do the Dice Kids in Town, I just really, I just really love it. It's great to see Cordy Collins and him doing his moves, and they just had some awesome moves in here. And I just really love how Amber she just gets pushed around. <laughs> you have Shelly pushing her, and then you have um, Link, and he lifts her up, and then she drops her. And it's just so funny how she's really trying to for this camera work, and everybody just moving her out the way, and she just had to keep smiling and Cordy Collins. I like how he lifts her up when she falls and, he, and she just keeps going like okay <laughs> like because she know that they keep messing with her it's so funny it's it's so hilarious because they're sick and tired of her it's like girl like it ain't always about you so i just really love how they were messing with her <laughs> in this whole sequence but once again the dance was very fun it was very inter very uh entertaining and it was really bringing you in uh the courtney collins show and you know i i just wanted to I, I had to learn the dance. I just, I just love the dance. The dance is just, it just looks so much fun when they're clapping and going in between each other. And then, pony, pony, oh, pony, pony, oh, do, 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 do. Like, I love those moves that they were doing. It's like, <gasps> nicest kid in town. Ooh, 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 ooh. Like, yes. <laughs> but I love that whole sequence. It, it was just like so much, it was like so fun. Now my second favorite scene, okay, so this is the thing. I liked a lot of these, I love this movie from the front to back. Even from Good Morning Baltimore. Like, from, like I loved everything about this movie. So it was really hard to pick specifically three because there's just so many amazing dance sequences in here and songs, especially when, <laughs> I think I like when I can hear the bell. So you see her in there learning the penny place after midnight and then Zach, all he sees is this gets lump of of a female like who is this and then it's tracy and then next thing you know like he she's like oh my gosh because you know she has a huge crush on him and then he runs it to her and she's like oh my gosh she just goes out into this la la land to i can hear the bells and she's just so hilarious taking a guy slamming against the locker and <laughs> going to the teacher's off teacher's lounge and the smoke everywhere and eats the guy's food and she goes into the little nurse and gets her temperature and then she's inside a random teacher's cart like she just went into la la land so it's just everything above including um um when they were at the school hot dance and that's how Cordy Carlos found her but anyway but it's just funny I just love everything about this movie but it was really like I said it was really hard to pick three but my second favorite one is run and tell that with seaweed when he breaks it down and I love it because it's like you see in the like half of the movie like before you get to um the detention kids you see like you know the whites and their dance and there's their imitation of you know how they interpret songs and their dance moves. And then you have seaweed and how they do the like he did the uh Peyton place after midnight and then now he's doing run and tell that and you see their fl flavor of the 60s on their perspective as black people so i just really love how they're how he was doing his da dance sequence and i just love the moves that they were doing and i like when they're going down the hallway ooh, 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 do, do, time is now and they just really killing it but then it could be nice to do here we go back in the bed seat of the juice i say so but darling what's the use dark of the chocolate 
rich in the taste. If that's what it's at, do, 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 run it till that, run it till that. Like, yes! Like, I just love it how they just did the mashed potatoes into the Ron It's just like, yes! And then I sound like how Seaman goes outside, he breaks it down, and then you have little ideas come out, and they do the like, Ted, run up on my bread. Like, let's go! Like, they killed it! Baby, move it! I got my own words. How can I say for a shout? Hey, rejoice! Like, ugh! I just love the whole thing. And then they go into the bus, and then they start doing the routine on the bus. And I like how they were just every area that they went. They just took advantage and really filled the the whole area with dancing and and having a great time. Like, you better run and tell that. And then I like how they were walking over the 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 seats and on the bus, and they were just really filling up that bus with just a lot of dance and they just use every inch and every corner besides where Tracy, Penny, and uh, Link was sitting but they were really like I just really love the whole bus routine and they just I just like the energy and I like the girl she was like grabbing it's like you better grab girl like she was into it like yeah <laughs> like yes it just it, you just feel what they're feeling I just absolutely love it so I just really like uh, that and th they just did such a great job that you know Elijah's doing his thing <laughs> pulling pity and she's all like oh my gosh this guy is so hot like <laughs> They're, they're, it's, it's just good. I just really love Run and Tell That. That's like one of my my second favorite dance sequences in this movie. Now, my last favorite one, my last last favorite one, and this one I watched so many times. I love, 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 love this whole dance sequence. And that is You Can't Stop the Beat. From the moment when Tracy comes down from that rocket, like Amber was about to be out dance like it was over and just from the beginning of this all the way to the end I absolutely love it and I love how her and Link, her and Link starts dancing and then you, I like how Link brought out little Inez and then little Inez she had her moment to dance because she's been training and working really hard to be on the show and once they found out that Negro Day has been canceled she's like oh no I'm not gonna get my chance and I love how Link knew and he was in that midst of hearing her saying that and by him have a moment with Tracy and then like yo you know what I'm gonna get somebody else on here and bring little Inez I love the fact that she got a chance she had an opportunity to really show the world what she could do on live television and she killed it it's like yes you did that thing honey and then I really like how Edna <laughs> like you just you just can't you know do an ending without John Travolta breaking it down so to see Edna come out and do this thing but first before that I really love him and welcome to the 60s and I love that one because he goes like you know that he because you know he was in Greece right and so I love that welcome to the 60s sequence so he did that but it was really cool to see him again in this last one and he just really like broke it down in that big giant suit, a huge red dress with with that shimmies and just sparkles everywhere. And he just killed this whole thing and then shaking it and shaking it and, 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 and then doing his like like booty shake. It was just so cool. And to see him and little Inez break it down, like I just loved it. I, I really loved that whole thing. And then I just love how, you know, Velma, she's like, oh my gosh, when we do this show, what the heck is going on? It's like turning to gumbo, and I just really love how Cordy Collins, Cordy Collins was really all about change. She really wanted to make, integrate the kids with the rest of the, the cast members anyway, and I really loved how he just loved he loved change he loved diversity he loved to see people come together and for him to bring motor motor mouth maybell on to be the host and she's like all right let's wrap this mother up like yes and then oh 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 you can't stop today no you go chase it down you. Ooh. yesterday is history and it's never coming back hold your head because tomorrow is a brand new day and it don't know why from black oh man y'all <laughs> that whole breakdown moves that they did oh my gosh i was did this you don't know how many times i practiced that ending routine i practiced it so many times because i just love that ending because it was so much fun it was joyful everyone's energy was high in the air i really love how they were 
really coming together as one it had nothing to do with white it had nothing to do with black it's just everyone just having an amazing time and dancing celebrating change celebrating integration and I just really love the the list that they do with the girls and the guys they do the turns and then they how they just do the, the whole just, just everything and I just ugh, man and then I just really like how all the end they all did the pain uh, pain place after midnight like that was pretty dope how they all did that and that's like a famous move throughout the whole movie because I noticed that everyone does it so many times but it was really cool to see them do that and yo this movie is ugh, I just love it <laughs> I would imagine myself every time with this movie I watch it like I'm with them doing it with them because it just uh, I wish I would have known about this movie coming out I wish I would have known about this cast because I definitely would have been would be like please let me just be all these dance sequences because it was just great to see people like me you know like me on the TV and you know represent me on the TV so it's like yeah. But anyway, but I, I just really love this movie. So the lesson that I learned from this movie is to ch just stay true to who you are. I know Tracy, she had this big thing where she really, really wanted to be on the Courtney Collins show, but I know her mom, Edna, was very like scared for her because she's like she's a bigger girl. She's not like the same size as everybody else, especially on the Courtney Collins show. And she was like, "No, I want you to run my laundry mat." She's like, "Nah, I have this dream. I really want to be on this show and nothing else." And and I like how even though she was different, and yeah, she had a little weight, but even though she had that it ended up changing the whole game of the station like she ended up being famous she ended up being like the number one candidate and everyone sending letters to her she helped the show skyrocket because of her being different and i know velma was very jealous because she always wanted amber to, she always trying to get amber to be number one she's trying to get amber to get all the attention but then you have someone new coming in the show and she just steals everything because she's just being uniquely herself and sometimes if we just go and just chase the dreams that we have and just be ourselves it can we could be the missing piece to any like a solution to a problem somewhere we don't never know and she was the missing piece to the problem and not only that was she different but she was able to have a love for another race and to bring them on the show too because that's what she wanted she did she saw something this she's like i just don't like the fact that it's just yeah i like the fact that it's court and con show we have a great cast but also i love negro day i love them too and why not that we can't be together even when she was at the dance with seaweed she's like why let's do the Peyton place after at the midnight he's like nah you got to stay on your side I got to stay on my side she's like why he's like that's because the way it is and she really wanted to change that she really wanted to bring people together and she saw things where everyone can dance your color shouldn't have to matter if you could dance do it and yes I love the fact that they have a different flavor because everyone needs to know each other's flavor it shouldn't be just one thing and it reminds me of the movie the dance review if you haven't seen it that I did in stepsisters how uh, Jamila where she was like race can't own things and so she was trying to let Camille understand that because she's like yo like the white people took you're trying to let them take stepping from she's like race can't own things like we should be able to share and so with Tracy that's definitely what she wanted to do and to bring in with the show and it made it cause change to happen and on top of that not only did it do that but when Zach and that's that when link brought on little inez it caused her on top of that to be who little inez she really wanted to be on the show and her dream ended up coming true by her being on the show it's pretty great because it just showed that eventually the change of the Courtney Collins show is happening because little Inez is Miss T spray and so there's nothing wrong with change change is always great and I know that the Courtney Collins he always wanted change and it happened and I just really love how at the end they was able to celebrate and everyone come together and just have an amazing time but that's the lesson I learned just be true to yourself and being yourself can cause change to people in environments that 
need the change and so that's the lesson that i learned i hope you guys like this dance review if you did go ahead and hit that like button also that subscribe button as well plus don't forget to hit that sus that bell so that way you can be notified instantly when i upload a new content now i want to say amazing job to all of the dancers in this movie you all did phenomenal i just love all of you thank you so much for all your hard work and amazing job to the choreographer who is Adam Shankman. So he was also the director and the choreographer. So that was really cool to have him play both of those. And we have some other associate choreographers in this movie as well, which was Aunt Mama Fletcher. So we see her up in here again. We have the one and only Jamal Sims. Let's go. He just it was so cool to see him in here too because you can see him with Motor, uh, Motor Mouth Maybell in the, her little um, record shop. So it was really cool to see him in there and just other places in this movie too. We have Joey Pizza, Pizza and we also have Zach Woodley. So amazing job to every single choreographer. Thank you so much for your creativity and for all of you working hard to put together this amazing movie. You did awesome and you guys will all be listed in my Dancers Hall of now I upload a new dance review every Tuesday and every Thursday so don't forget to look out for those movie dance reviews on those days and I hope to see you guys on the all on the next one and don't forget y'all to make good choices okay bye